Welcome to question 3, part A. In this question, we're given the following graph, y equals function of x, and for three marks, asked to sketch y equals the mod of f of x. Now, y equals the mod of f of x is a reflection of any negative y values in the x-axis. So it's this part of the original graph of y equals f of x that is reflected in the x-axis. So if we just sketch that in, then we're going to get something like this, coming down through the y-axis, joining the x-axis here. And then because this part of y equals f of x is already positive, that's going to remain exactly the same. So we just draw across there down to there. Okay, and the other thing we're asked to do is find out uh, where it crosses the y-axis and the x-axis and label those points. Well, clearly it stays at Q at 3, 0, and for the point here where the graph crosses the y-axis, because it's a reflection in the x-axis, the point naught negative 2 is reflected to the point naught 2. So just label that in like so. So we we'll move on to part B now. And in part B, we've got to draw the graph of the inverse function of x. So that is y equals the inverse function of x. Okay, so just bring that graph up. We'll bring the original graph up on display. And we'll just scroll up like so. Now, when we're trying to find the inverse function of x, what that is graphically is a reflection of the original graph, y equals f of x, in the line y equals x. So y equals x is the diagonal through here, so we'll just sketch that in. y equals x would be that diagonal. So just mark that off as y equals x. And then the inverse, I say will be a reflection of this part of the curve in y equals x, and that's going to look like the following. Okay, so it's going to come up through there and look like that. Okay, so again we've got to label the points where it crosses the x-axis and the y-axis. Now for the x-axis, the point naught negative 2 gets mapped or mirrored across to this point. So instead of being two units down, it's two units to the left. So that's going to be the point minus 2, 0. And the point 3, 0 is going to be mapped to the point 0, 3. So just mark that in, 0, 3. Okay, just do that. Okay, and that's uh, part B done. So let's just scroll up a little and get ready for part C. And in part C we're asked this time to sketch the graph y equals half f of 3x. Okay, y equals half f of 3x and that is worth three marks. What we do is just bring the graph up Here's the original graph. Now this particular question, a little bit more difficult than the uh, previous two, it comes in two parts essentially. First of all, I'm going to concentrate on f of 3x. Now, if we have a number in front of x, in this case 3, this represents a stretch of scale factor a third parallel to the x-axis with any point on the y-axis being invariant. 
So what that means essentially is that the point 30 is going to be at this point here, 1, 0. So I'll mark that point in at 1, 0. Okay, like so. Just put that over there. Doesn't look very good. That's it, 1, 0. And the point P stays put. And so, therefore, the curve is essentially going to be, as I say, stretched. That means this point here is going to be a third this distance across here. So it's going to be somewhere about there, I would have thought. And the graph's going to come down like so through P. And then this particular point here is going to be pushed in by a third. So it's going to be about there. OK? So the graph is going to look something, something, let's just start again, something like this, through there, down through P, and like that. OK? And that is the graph of Y equals F of 3X. OK? Now we're going to take this graph, uh, let's just bring in another graph, OK? And um, we can work on. Let's just scroll that up. So, so we've got f of 3x, and what we need to do to this graph now is to do to finish it off by doing uh, the required question, which was y equals a half f of 3x. So what this means now, having the half, is that the graph of y equals 3x, which we've got sketched up here, is now stretched parallel to the y-axis, scale factor a half. And that means that any point on the x-axis stays invariant. So that point 1, 0 that we got earlier is going to stay exactly the same there. So we're just going to mark that in, 1, 0. Okay. Now the point at naught negative 2, we'll say a scale factor a half, that's going to be half of this distance down here. So naught minus 2 is now going to move to naught negative 1. Let's just put that point there. Mark it in as naught negative 1. So the curve is going to go through these two points. And looking back at y equals f of 3x, the top here is now going to be moved down by halfway, so it's going to end up about there, so I'll just transfer that down to there. Okay, and what we're going to get is just something looking something like this through here, like so. Okay, so that will be the graph of y equals half f of 3x. Okay, so I hope you've got that one, and I'll say if you did, that's worth three marks, and well done.